In my previous videos, I shared the 16 most useful AI tools for generating images from text for free. But as a researcher, you must be interested in learning if AI tools can also be used to generate scientific images for research articles, thesis, posters, cover pages and presentations. Therefore, in today's video, we will try to generate scientific images using different queries using 9 AI image generators. We will check image generation with different queries and at last, I will conclude if these tools are worth using for scientific writing. First, let's try to generate an image of a dividing plant cell with a cell plate growing from the center towards the cell wall. This is how an image should look like for its usage in scientific articles. Now let's see how our different AI tools generate images. Some tools generate relevant images. While the cell does not appear like a plant cell in most images. Some tools are generating more kinds of fictional images. Next, I ask these AI tools to generate images of an immune system. And you can see most of the tools generate very vague type of images. Some tools may not even generate immune system images. I have tried using different prompts, but the response were not at all satisfying using any of these tools. When I asked the tool to generate a picture depicting transpiration in plants, I found three tools, Gemini, ImageFX and Leonardo, which generate relevant images but were not suitable for diagrams or illustrations but may be used for presentations, posters and cover pictures for journals. Last, let's try to generate a neutrophil cell and a nerve cell using different prompts using Gemini and ImageFX as they were better compared to other AI tools. You can see that the images are of high quality and relevance. My final conclusion after using all these tools is that AI tools can be used to generate beautiful images for presentations, posters and cover photos for journals. However, complex images, illustrations, diagrams and processes can still not be generated using these AI tools. There are other popular non-AI based tools that can be used to generate such scientific images that I will cover in my next video. Still, there are a lot of things that can be done using AI tools like paraphrasing, grammar checks and literature searches. You can check out my series of videos on it. You should also check out my research and publishing video series. You might find them useful too. Comment below for your queries and requests. Thanks and see you in my next video.